Greetings guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at the Celestron Heavy Duty Alt Azimuth Tripod. So taking a close look at the tripod, you'll notice that the Alt Azimuth mount can be used with binoculars, spotting scopes or telescopes. You wouldn't normally use this with an astroscope simply because of the type of fitting. You'll notice on most astroscopes they have a different fitting, although you do get some telescopes, astroscopes, they do have the quarter inch thread. The adjustable aluminium legs provide a minimum of 32 inches and a maximum of 45 inches in height. So if you wanted to use it on a tabletop, you could do. This little tray in the middle between the braces lets you put uh, accessories such as eyepieces. You can see the eyepieces would slot in there, keep them nice and safe. The weight of the scope that you can put on this is pretty decent. The manufacturer Celestron says you can get up to about five kilograms, which is about approximately 10 pounds in weight. So that's a fairly decent scope. It is a heavy duty tripod. One thing you will notice about this is that there is a sliding bolt. You can just see it there. So it'll slide forwards and backwards. The idea of that is depending on what scope that you put on top, it will allow you to move it forward and backwards and find a good balance. So putting a scope on couldn't be easier. You see you've got the screw head there, that's a quarter inch, and most scopes have the equivalent quarter inch recess. Simply put the screw head in the recess, proceed to tighten, there you go so what you will notice about this tripod that differs from a standard tripod is that you don't have a panhandle control instead you have these two control cables the significance of which is that this smaller one gives you azimuth control otherwise known as left and right and the longer cable here gives you altitude control otherwise known as up and down. The significance of which is that the cables give you a much more precise control, if you like, over the scope. So when you're looking up at the night sky, instead of like a huge sweeping movement that you would get from a panhandle tripod, these cables let you make very precise adjustments. And in actual fact, you can, using the azimuth control, follow a nice object in the sky as it seems to move around. So who would buy this tripod? Well, really it's a standalone tripod. It's not a tripod that you would buy if you were looking to look at wildlife, or you were looking at scenery, that sort of thing, in which case you'd be much better with a panhandled photographic type of tripod. But if you've got a scope like this, what I would call a terrestrial scope, a day scope if you like, then this sort of tripod gives you the extra functionality that you might need in the nighttime sky. So rather than use a panhandle and move the scope a fraction of an inch, which really you move in hundreds of light years at that sort of distance, these control cables give you a much precise movement, a smoother movement that will be able to sort of match the rotation of the earth if you like, the stars in the night sky. So Maybe you want a tripod like this if you've already got the daytime tripod and you want something a little bit different for the nighttime viewing. It's not an all-in-one tripod. I wouldn't take this out with me if I was, as I say, going on a photo shoot or just simply out for the day. But if I'm going on a night shoot and I want to take some nice pictures of the sky at night, then this is a tripod that will do the job. Okay, that about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed our video about the Celestron Alt Azimuth tripod. As always, you'll find more details about the tripod in the description underneath. Please consider giving the video a like, it always helps. 
And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, keep your feet on the ground and keep looking at the stars.